This time we stayed at Twitley Branch Campground, another Army Corps of Engineer campground in Collinsville, Mississippi. It's just across the Alabama border and it is about 15 miles north of Meridian. Stay tuned to see why we like this park so much. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Most likely your GPS will bring you down Hamrick Road West and it may want you to make a right hand turn but you don't want to do that because it's a dead end road and it's gravel and it won't take you anywhere. So if you come in from the west or the north you're just going to make this little jog to go towards the park and the campground. We found it a little bit confusing so hopefully this will help you if you are coming to this park. When you come across this jog, if you continue straight you will run right into the public park. But if you make a right hand turn at the sign for the campground, you will be where you want to be. You go up to the guard shack, you get your paperwork and your tags, get directions to where you go to your site. There are actually three different loops here. There is the Loblolly loop, the Black Gum loop, and the Cypress loop which is by the launch in the swim area. They have no electricity in that loop. We pulled up just a little ways and dropped Zippy just past the guard shack. On the left hand side you'll see there's a dump station up on a hill. We were in site 46 in black gum loop. We're going to take a left up here. Then we're going to take a right by the bathroom that has the showers in it and laundry. Many of the roads are one way. We didn't have any problems with trees and we didn't have any issues with ditches. This campground is really spread out. It's very pretty. Then we made a left, start the loop, come around to our campsite, which was a back end and 120 feet long. Whitley Branch Campground is the only full-service campground managed by the Corps of Engineers at Okatibi Lake, which is an 11,000-acre multi-purpose recreation area in eastern Mississippi. With four boat ramps and three designated swimming areas, there's plenty of ways to enjoy the lake shore. Both sites have water and 50 amp electrical hookups. There are no sewer hookups, however, they have a dump station. Pets are allowed on a six-foot or shorter leash. Okatebi Lake boasts 4,000 acres of water surface in the Pascagoula River Basin. Extensive beaver flowages, stump beds, and Old Creek channels provide abundant cover where anglers battle largemouth and striped bass. Summers are hot and humid with temperatures ranging from 70 to 98 degrees Fahrenheit. With eagles and hawks in the area, families will enjoy keeping an eye out for these magnificent birds. Water sports such as fishing and water skiing are popular on the lake, however, fishing from the banks also yields a good amount of crappy bass and bream. The amenities include showers and restrooms, swimming areas, accessibility sites, water and electric hookup, and a boat launch. This is our neighbor at number 47. There's a little more privacy, great view of the lake. Here we are in 46. It's extra wide, as is 45, which is a little closer. And I'm thinking this is like a 100 to 120 feet long. It's an easy back end. Our fire pit, garbage bag holder, picnic table. Our tote didn't even come all the way back. And an awesome view. Awesome view. If it was warm out, we got a little beach right there where we could go swimming. 
What you doing now, Dave? Cutting wood. Still getting some wood for the campfire. And uh, I'm doing it with my trusty Remington chainsaw. The Ranger 2. Amazon.com, I bet. Amazon.com. <laughs> I'll tell you, this little thing cuts like nobody's business. Yeah. 110 volt. Get it from our store. Yep. Take the big ones and make little ones. Lightweight, easy maneuver. Wife gets out of line. Sounds like a commercial, man. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Binford Duels. <laughs> Dave's over here splitting wood for our fire. Doing it the old fashioned way. Oh, oh. that's all I got. That one. <laughs> you could do it. Come on, Dave. What a brute. And here's the one and only facility that has both restrooms and showers and a laundry. I think the laundry's closed though due to COVID. It is closed because of COVID. Kind of hard to see, but there is a washer and a dryer in here. And then on the other side, there is a folding table. Let's go in the restroom. Clean. Smells good. Got the cold metal toilets. But it's heated in here. Got two showers. A curtain out here, curtain here, and there's a hook. Dave said that he did not run out of hot water. He likes to take his showers in the bathhouses because he likes real long, super hot showers. And I don't, so I do mine in the RV, and he does his in here. This entire loop is currently closed because they are redoing the electrical hookups. So we cannot go down this loop. There's a fork in the road here, but we're going to go straight. We haven't been down here yet. We're going to check this out. Which are sites 51 to 63. And that's where the boat ramp and swimming is. It's like a mile away, isn't it? Yeah. So far, Wi-Fi has been pretty good here. We have Verizon and use a mobile hotspot. They have their own little bathhouse over there. Well, I guess it's a bathroom. Bathroom's over here. The pit toilet. Yeah. The Cypress Loop, which is sites 51 to 63, are set up a little differently. 51 to 62 have water, but they do not have electricity. A maximum length is of 40 feet is allowed, and they're $14 a night. Site 63 is a group site, which can hold up to 24 people, but the maximum length there is 30 feet, and there is no electricity there as well. They're $15 a night. At the end of the Cypress Loop is a little loop by itself that has sites 60, 61, and 62. They're $14 a night, 40-foot maximum length, but they don't have any electricity, water only. Boy, that looks pretty. Here's the beach area. Yeah. It's gonna be the boat ramp. Ah. Yep. And they got a little dock right there, so you can get on your boat, go get your trailer. And then they got um, plenty of parking over here. Black Gum Loop is sites 28 to 50. Those, most of these are 40 feet long. 39, 40, and 45 are 60 feet long. 41, 42, and 43 are 80 feet long. 44, 
is 130, 46 is 120, 47 is 90, 48 for 9 and 50 are 100. So you can see that that loop has some really nice long sights and some great views there. And they have electric and water hookup. And they're 18 to $20 a night. Keeping in mind, if you have American the Beautiful Pass, it'll be half price. The Willow Group section, which is Site 65, has electric and water, and they take up to 48 people there. They have a maximum length of 40 feet. With the 50 amp service there, it is $30 a night. This is actually a good place to drop a car, which would probably would have been better than just outside of the guard shack like we did. So if you don't turn right into the campground and keep going straight, you'll go to the park. A lot of people like to bike right around this park and into the campground. Lots of pretty roads. They had a big storm come through here a couple of years ago, wasn't it, Dave? That's what they said. And a whole bunch of trees got tore down. Yeah. I mean, they're all just uprooted, big time. And I guess the campground was shut down for a really long time. If I can get it cleaned up. This has been cleaned up quite a bit since it happened. And we know this because Ruth Ann and Lomax, who are some subscribers of ours, living here, gave us a call and we went out to dinner with them and had some good Mexican food. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. You want firewood. There, that's where you go. Yeah. That, well, they said they were straight line winds yeah. that came through. So it just takes them right up from the roots. Yeah, it sure does. Wow. This lake is only, what did they say? How many miles around? Five square miles. Five square miles, and I think it was 26 miles of shoreline. They also have a launch there at the campground, too. That campground does flood every now and then. If you notice, the uh, power box posts are up in the air. No Hot in service. No fee at this time. Oh, there you go. Free uh, lunch. How can you go wrong with that? Some things you need to know are you cannot bring your own firewood in. You have to buy local firewood or get it there from the campground. Twitley Branch Campground Gatehouse hours are 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Reservations made after 10 p.m. may not be let in. Visiting hours are 6 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. The gate closes at 10 p.m. and will not be reopened until 6 a.m. the following morning. The campground is open year-round, and you can make your reservations up to 12 months in advance. Campsites are $20 per night unless you have the America the Beautiful discount card. Then it's 50% off. Whitley Branch has an overall review of 4.6 out of 5 from 182 guests. The mobile service is not quite as good there. It averages out to about 2.9 out of 5. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Either this just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.